Let's cause a countrywide blackout. This better be a simulation. You could disrupt the frequency of the electrical grid. To do this would require upsetting the balance between energy production and consumption. But it would take many nuclear plants worth to affect the grid that much. Alternating current runs through it like a synchronized heartbeat. But even it's 60 hertz in the US. Percent deviation can force a power station offline. That is a massive difference. It would take many, many units tripping offline to affect it by even 0.1 hertz. Adding or taking power out changes the frequency, so charging enough EVs or overloading enough main fuses at the same time could tip a regional grid over and even disrupt others nearby. Most grids are designed to handle regional peaks, and fuses blowing would actually reduce the load and protect the grid. Another way is cutting a critical high voltage line. Excessive power. Yes, this will redistribute the load, but grid operators run what's known as N-1 contingency models to prepare for line trips. Models constantly run contingencies to see how much power they can reroute safely. It will spill into neighboring regions, knocking them out. Operators are then if the grid operators aren't doing their job, sure. Was to disconnect homes and shut down generators to stop the whole national grid. Funny how they showed wind, like they're turning off the wind. Overloading. Renewables can also make the grid unstable if they're not well integrated. True, solar and wind do lack the mechanical inertia that nuclear has. So if you wait for a sunny day and cut a line on a grid that depends on solar power with insufficient backup, other power plants will be left with no time to replace the missing power. That's a textbook voltage collapse scenario. And thermal plants cannot ramp instantly. Turbine response times are on the order of seconds to minutes. And nuclear reactors aren't flexible in seconds. There are some load following designs, but that's less common. But grids are getting smarter. Legions of batteries can kick in almost instantly to stabilize supply in seconds. Yep, like a surge volume. Actually in the order of milliseconds, because you need it to be that fast. And soon smart grids will tap into EVs and household batteries for spare power. Possible, but it depends more on bidirectional infrastructure. The grid can relax a bit and stop blackouts well before they happen. True, but energy still has to come from somewhere, and nuclear leads at providing base load power and additional redundancy models to prevent these sorts of things from happening.